back. A newly published UH study examined an emerging concern, an increase in microplastics found in placentas. Researchers from the John A. Burns School of Medicine analyzed placentas stretching back to 2006 and found that over time an increasing number of studied samples showed the presence of microplastics. In 06, 6 out of 10 samples contained microplastics, and by 2021, 10 out of 10 samples tested positive. Scientists say the plastics could come from a variety of sources, including disposable food containers, ocean pollution, which makes its way onto consumed seafood, and even reusable shopping bags that disintegrate over time and are in inadvertently inhaled. What we, ne we need to remember is these microplastics are getting everywhere, right? They are in the air, they are in the ocean, they are in the fresh water, and they are in the soil, right? So a contaminated soil is going to have fruits and vegetables uptaking those microplastics and we're going to consume it. We're just concerned that if the sizes of the plastics that are coming to the placenta and the number of particles that are getting stuck in the placenta, you know, is there going to be a concern that some of the plastics get across to the baby on the other side of the umbilical cord? Researchers are now planning a second study which will include a larger sample set of placentas and specifically examine health impacts on the baby and mother. They also added this study could serve as a way to examine the amount of microplastics in a community over time.